provide table service of alcoholic beverages. In this unit you will learn the following. Advise customers on alcoholic beverages and take orders. Serve alcoholic beverages. Advise customers on alcoholic beverages and take orders. Almost all establishments in the hospitality industry will serve alcoholic beverages. It may be your responsibility to offer advice and general information on alcoholic beverages to customers at your venue. This will mean you'll need to have a good knowledge of the types of drinks available at your venue and offer advice to customers on food and beverage matches. Correct terminology and pronunciation is important when speaking with customers and will help you to appear professional and knowledgeable. Guests may ask you to recommend beverages to accompany their meal or specialties offered by the establishment. Generally, white wines suit white meat dishes and vegetarian dishes. Red wines suit red meat dishes and sweeter wines and liqueurs for desserts and after-dinner drinks. However, these are only traditional suggestions. Ask the customer a few questions to get a further understanding of their taste and then make a recommendation accordingly. When taking orders, be sure to verify their selection. You will need to check the type of drink and how they wish it to be served. For example, if they ask for a beer, check what brand they want. If they want heavy or light beer, draft or bottle beer, and what size glass they would like. Serve alcoholic beverages. The way you serve beverages will depend largely on the type of drink you are serving. The first thing you will need to know are the different types of glasses that match the beverages you are serving. You may find it easy to remember that champagne can be served in a flute or saucer glass, but it can become more complex depending on the range of beverages and glassware served at your venue. For instance, a mixed drink using a clear spirit like vodka is traditionally served in a highball glass, while a mixed drink using a dark spirit such as bourbon is usually presented in an old-fashioned glass. A list of the different types of glassware and the drinks they are traditionally used for is in your workbook. Remember that the terms for a standard glass of beer vary from state to state. If someone orders a schooner, midi or pot of beer, they will usually assume that you know how much that is. So be familiar with the corresponding glasses. Once a drinks order has been taken, the drinks must be obtained from the bar, checked and served. Drinks must be checked that they look presentable. The bottle is intact and the drink is at the right temperature. Beers, carbonated drinks, sparkling wines and white wines should be chilled before serving. Red wines, on the other hand, should be kept at room temperature. To serve beer, soft drinks and other bottled drinks, place the drinks on a serving tray along with the appropriate serving glass for each bottle. Drinks need to be placed in a way so that the tray is stable and the tray doesn't tip to one side. Put the taller glasses, such as highball glasses and soft drinks, nearer to your body. Put heavy drinks, such as beer, in the centre of the tray. And put smaller glasses, such as liqueurs and old-fashioned glasses, around the outside. Then carry the tray to the table, resting the tray on the pads of the fingers on your left hand. Serve the glass first from the right side and hold the glass from the base or the stem. Then serve the bottle by slowly pouring it into the glass, aiming at the opposite inside edge of the glass. If the drink you're serving is beer, you should aim to produce a head. Once the glass is full, place the bottle on the table with the label facing the customer. Unless the bottle is empty, in which case you can take it back with the tray. Some establishments will require you to take an ice bucket to the table if you're serving white wine or sparkling wine. Show the bottle to the host using a white cloth as a backdrop and tell the guest the name of the wine. Open the wine removing the cap and screwing in the corkscrew so that it's straight. Then remove the cork and wipe the top of the bottle. 
It's then customary to give the host a small taste in their glass to make sure the wine is acceptable before offering it to the other customers. In some establishments, it's customary to serve women first. Check with the supervisor if this is the case in your workplace. When you pour each glass, only fill it to two-thirds full, while white wine or sparkling wines in the ice bucket, if required, and red wines in the table near the host covered by a collar made out of a clean serviette. Remember when pouring not to let the bottle touch the glass. If you twist and raise the bottle after pouring, you will avoid getting drips on the tablecloth. If you are serving sparkling wines, such as champagne, you must take care to cover the cork and make sure when you open the bottle you do not spill any liquid or lose the cork, as this can lead to injuries. If you have any customer complaints, make sure you verify them and write them down and respond in accordance with the policies of your venue. Some venues offer free drinks or vouchers if a customer has a complaint. Always check with your supervisor before returning to the customer with a solution. Refill glasses where appropriate during service while trying to cause minimal disruption to the customer. Some customers may like to do this themselves, so it's important to be aware of the usual procedures of your venue. Clear all finished drinks from the table promptly and offer the customer another beverage. Never clear an unfinished drink unless the customer asks you to or has left the venue.